Hello and welcome back to yet another video from Matthew YouTube and in today's video what I have for you is introverts or extroverts which one makes more sense which one's the better option now um I guess quick definition for those of you who don't understand in big 2023 I don't know how you can't understand what an introvert and extrovert is but that's besides the point an introvert is basically someone who's inclusive and likes to keep them to themselves they don't really like um social crowds or you know so being social in general so you know the lockdown was actually basically just their daily lives um and a extrovert is basically the opposite someone who loves big party big crowds and loves spending time with people now which one is better there are obviously pros and cons to both and i can definitely name a couple off the top of my head but um that's what i'm going to be talking about today which one is better are you, uh, i mean i can't really give you like a, oh are you an extrovert or are you an introvert test um i gave you the, the definitions basically so you determine for yourself if you're an introvert or an extrovert but what i'm here to tell you today is which one's better which one comes with more pros and less cons and you know which one should you pick or choose or you know it's just better really but let's start with introverts because i am one <laughs> now introverts they do like to keep to themselves one that is, can be a pro and at the same time it can also backfire and be a con pros obviously um a lot of extroverts since they're very social and very friendly with people as far as i'm concerned then the in reclusive i guess that's the word introvert will definitely be like oof uh, back off i'm not trying to get betrayed you know a bit more precautious that's a word right they may talk they, they'll take that a little they'll definitely take a little more precautions when dealing with people in general um they're not socially awkward per se they just don't like and would rather not have a social interaction with people if they don't have to um so yes you can say that that's a pro because they'll definitely not have that many enemies or less likely to be betrayed but the con really to be completely honest with you is also pretty is just as simple as that they would basically be a kind of seclusive and kind of alone they might have one or two here or there very close friends that yeah no in the, in the circle but and they won't really with, with anyone else mingle with a lot of people oh so obviously it's going to be a lot harder for them to make connections with other people and yeah people in general it'll be very it'll be hard for introverts to make connections with people it'll be hard for them to work in a team you know imagine you're on like a group project and then the extrovert is just there he doesn't really talk doesn't really say anything i think i'm more or less talking about social awkwardness i'm sure an introvert can speak to people because i don't really consider myself either i do consider myself an, an introvert um you know i don't really like social interactions that much but if i'm feeling a certain way i don't mind talking to people i can like oh hey da -da -da -da. i can have friendly conversation with people and just general things like that if i don't have to i wouldn't but this isn't this is not a video about myself this is a video about introverts and extroverts in general as a whole so introverts kind of touched and covered let's put that away to the side and let's focus on extroverts now extroverts they're the opposite so they uh, i think that this personality to an extent has more cons because yeah sure you're social so you'll definitely have a lot more people in your circle but how many of those people can you really like trust you like uh, oh hey this person hey that person hey this person hey that person hey they're not more happy for you really um and you're more likely to get betrayed if i'm being completely honest because of your personality and because the amount of people you surround yourself with that may or may not actually be trusted in general so yeah i guess for social interactions being an extrovert it has its pros it's not a bad thing you can make friendly conversation you're probably more likely to get a girlfriend first or something like that <laughs> i don't know um or to just talk to people really um maybe in like a gathering you're the one person to make a toast 
or I don't know you, you don't mind public speeches um, I mean but up to me if I were to choose to do YouTube i.e. talk in front of a camera look at myself and post it everyone else sees it yes but I'm basically talking to myself or um, go in front of a crowd and do this exact video talking to a crowd would be so much harder talking to a crowd I don't know it would just be so much more difficult for me and why did I mention that I forgot why <laughs> but um yeah an extrovert will definitely have the upper hand and the edge in that speaking confidently really um so they're like natural born leaders i guess you can say but an introvert i'm sure maybe a more maybe a lot more calm and calculated and keep to themselves generally maybe a bit smarter as well potentially because they know oh mm, or oh why not or mm, no because there's no yeah um <laughs> i guess that's really it to be honest but which one is better from what i've been talking about to be completely honest with you i've actually had the answer the conclusion to this video since the moment i started this video and i knew i was going to say introvert because because yeah being an extrovert has its pros um just being less socially awkward and you know more socially you know so i mean social anxiety and being an introvert are two completely different things social anxiety is basically when you have to like plan every single word you're going to say and hope that you don't sweat your teeth or your eyeballs out while you're asking to order fried chicken at kfc yeah that that is social anxiety an introvert is just someone who would rather also not do that but would probably order at a you know but they don't have to speak to someone they don't have to but they don't mind social interaction but um yeah i mean i can easily say with the utmost conviction that i'd rather keep secluded to myself and have a less amount of friends than be the socially oh wow ooh, ooh, popular one i guess socially popular one um that has a lot of friends and 85.86543 why was i counting down <laughs> um a, a large percentage are probably fake so you know introvert has to take this one for me personally um but that's just my personal opinion what are your thoughts um if you're an extrovert or an introvert just write down your experiences and like if there's any pros or cons to being one um but yeah it's been usual hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll hope to see you in the next one it's usual peace